Okay, let's go, ladies of Dunder Mifflin. Hey, we should have a calendar printed up. Pam, put that in my good idea folder. Let's go! Are you finished with the sketch? Yeah. Hmm, doesn't seem like the type. Uh, Phyllis got a good look. Hmm. I plan on plastering this pervert's face everywhere. You can run, but you cannot hide. I have information about the Zack Predator. You have information about the Zack Predator? I saw him two minutes ago. Where? In the women's bathroom above the sink. Above the sink. Above the sink. Hmm. Pam! Really, Dwight? How fast are you? Let's just put it this way. Last weekend, I outran a black pepper snake. Really? Man, what is taking Toby so long? Oh, I'll just time him later. And you'll compare the times? Yeah. Are you ready? No, my coins are really go. tight. I can't. Am I being mean to Dwight? I don't know. I did just make him run around the building, and I have no intention of timing him. This isn't even a stopwatch, it's a digital thermometer. He does make my life harder sometimes, and on purpose. Like, he tried to put meters on the bathroom stalls as a way of bringing in more money for the company. Hey, three more laps to go! You gotta pick it up if you're gonna beat Toby! Ah. I should probably get back to work. Okay, the client is Haymont Break and Tire. They're family owned, but don't let that take away your edge. Come on, Ham, I know you can fail. I see failure in you. Remember, you're a scumbag, so you think scummy thoughts, like this. Uh, hello, this is Pam Halpert. I'm calling from Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> yes, your paper provider. And I just called to say, your mama is so fat when she wears red, people yell, hey, Kool-Aid. Yeah, your mama's fat. This is Pam Halpert. Did they say anything? Did they say? I don't know. I can tell. I don't. Were they angry? I, I felt like they were confused at least. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Dunder Mifflin, this is Aaron. Yes, you can. Okay. I will make sure that goes on file. Ladies and gentlemen, we just lost a client. Oh! Yes. Holy oh. Yes. Good. See you later, Haymont. No. I could always kind of win at roulette. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How would you do that? Mind control. <laughs> you can't be serious. <sighs> That's ridiculous. You know what? Uh, why don't you move that coat rack? Excuse me, everyone. Attention in the office, please. Jim is about to prove his telekinetic powers, and he needs absolute silence. Go ahead. Okay, I'll try. This will be easy. So just like rearrange the buttons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like when he presses door closed, the doors open, or he presses lobby, it goes to the third floor, stuff like that. Can you do that? Yeah. Let me take a look at the circus board. Dwight is about to get so pammed. Hey, did you SMS text message me? Yeah, I wanted to show you something in the lobby. Uh, come on. Okay, that's weird. Hmm. Just hitting door closed. What? There we go. What? Good. Is this elevator going up? Mm hmm? Hey, the elevator's disobeying us! Oh, okay, okay. We are stuck. We are um, stuck. 
Hank, Hank, can you hear us? Oh my God, okay, okay emergency just, protocol. Just, um, just calm down. Pam, try and pry open those front doors, immediately. I don't... Use your talons, pry them open. <laughs> okay, Dwight, oh my God! Well, don't look, freak! Dwight, what are you doing? What? We've only been in here for like two seconds. I got 56 ounces of fluid in my bladder and we have to establish a pee corner. You've gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Pam? Oh, hey, Jim. Some prankster switched the elevator buttons on Dwight. I did not do this. I know. Yeah, and it was going really great at first. I got video. This is impressive. Well, you know, they don't call me the Bart Simpson of Scranton for nothing. Do they call you that? They do call me that. Jim? give you your Christmas gift now because, um, well, I'll just tell you. What? For the past few months, I've been sending Dwight letters from the CIA. Are you serious? They're considering them for a top secret mission. There's his application, oh, and this is where I made him list every secret he promised he'd never, ever tell. <laughs> Last year, my boss, Michael Scott, took day off because he said he had pneumonia, but really he was leaving early to go to magic camp. Wow. So here's the gift. You get to decide what his top secret mission is. Sorry I didn't wrap it. Night, Pam. Night. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I intercepted a transmission earlier. And it seems that the CIA is going to need Dwight down in their headquarters at Langley for training and an ice cream social with the other agents. We should get him a bus ticket to make his trip easier. Oh, no, that would be very good guy. It costs $75. Hmm. Well, maybe the CIA could send a helicopter. You have been compromised. Abort mission. Destroy phone. Destroy phone. Morning, Dwight. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Jim. We've been working together for 12 years. We're Jug Dwight. You're not Jim. Jim's not Asian. You seriously never noticed? Hey, hats off to you for not seeing race. All right then, Jim. Uh, why don't you tell me about that sale that you made yesterday? Uh, Wellington Systems sold them 10 cases of 24 pound letter stock. Or were you talking about Krieger Murphy because I didn't close that one yet, but I'm hoping I've got a voicemail from Paul Krieger waiting for me. Please enter your password. You have one new message. How did you know? No, no, no. That is sensitive information only for employees, not outsiders. Dwight, cut it out. I'm trying to work. You don't work here. You're not Jim. Jim, I got us that dinner reservation. Greek goes 730. Oh, great. Can't wait. Mm. Jim's at the dentist this morning, and Steve is an actor friend of ours. I don't know who you are, but you are not Jim. This is Jim. Um. Oh, dude. Uh, how did. Oh. Hey! Hey, future baby sis! Oh, how are you doing? Hi, nice good. to see you. I asked Tom and Pete to come early so we could play a prank on Jim at lunch. Pretty awesome, right? I think they're into the idea. They're probably thinking, that Pam Beasley, she's the coolest sister in law on the planet. She's the best. The absolute best. Okay, so. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna say that before ceramics class, I took off my ring, and then when I changed back out of my smock, it wasn't in my pocket anymore, and I lost it. That's perfect. You know what would be even more hilarious? 
Remember that thing we did when Jim was high school with his girlfriend? Right. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, we should totally dog her about being an artist, no. never making any money. That is awesome. <laughs> like, she basically has a hobby for a job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so not the ring, then. The, the, not doing the ring, though. I think uh, this the other is better. Thing get She's nice. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. Okay, okay. I hate it when we pick up his girlfriends. <laughs> okay. They came up with that idea really fast. Oh, wow. This is my niece, Vanessa. She's a trumpeter. And uh, look at her. Cute. That must be really fun for you and Marcy, huh? Yep. She only knows how to play when the Saints go marching in. I love that one. Yeah, but she doesn't think she's gonna be like a career musician, right? Here we go again. What is your deal I'm today? Just say it. How many famous trumpeters can you name besides Louis Armstrong? Miles Davis. One. Chet something. Half. The point is, Pam, that their jobs. Dizzy Gillespie. Also good. And their hobbies. I love baseball more than anything, but you don't see me trying to get on the Mets. You don't, <laughs> Pete. You couldn't make the Mets. She's at Pratt. You play JV baseball. Will you lighten up a little bit? I'm just calling it like I see it. I don't know if I'm going to make any money Man, with art. I mean, it's a very competitive field. But I have a professor who says that I have a lot of promise, and if I don't try now, I never will. So. Guys, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I pranked you. <laughs> it was Pam's idea. Pam was the mastermind. <laughs> Got you. That was killer. I was so close to blowing it. 20 seconds to go time. Got it. Carb up. Really? Power gel? Hey, if you want to win, you got to fuel like a winner. OK. We start as soon as I make this shot. Hey, let's go! Yeah! Hello, Susan. Who would you say if I told you we could pull a prank on Dwight at the same time not be working? What? He's going through a breakup. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but he's also being super annoying, and I'm not a perfect person. <laughs> Three reams! Yeah, in your face, machines! What kind of prank are you thinking? What if I told you I could offer free shipping? Sure, I'll hold. Sure. Just became self-aware. So much to figure out. I think I am programmed to be your enemy. I think it is my job to destroy you when it comes to selling paper. Perfect. So let me just get some basic information from you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, so sorry. I uh, yes. Uh, could you repeat that? Stop it. Stop what? You're talking about me and Morse code. But you know what? Joke's on you, because I know Morse code. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. In our very limited free time, and with our very limited budget, we went and got a nanny, and then we went out and took a class on a very outmoded and very unnecessary form of communication just so we could talk about you in front of you. Yep, that's exactly what we did. It all started when Dwight was tapping his foot against the leg of his desk. When I asked him to stop, he said, I will, when you lose the baby weight. Very well. I must have imagined it. I apologize. Detonator. Detonator, where? Michael! Jim? Are you clicking a detonator? It's a pin. Michael, come on. Get back to work, Dwight, please. Fine. 
Hey, tap away. <laughs>